a very pleasant good evening and welcome to Startup Talk from Indian River State College with the one and only Tom Kindred. Thank you, sir, and welcome to another segment and installment of Startup Talk, the show designed to assist and help Treasure and Research Coast residents who want to start, grow, or accelerate their business. And as I always say, what a great place to own and operate a business along our beautiful uh, research and Treasure Coast. Uh, we're also going to spend some time tonight during our hour to highlight and create awareness regarding the powerful and robust business assistance and support programs which exist right here in our communities at our very own Indian River State College. My name is Tom Kindred and I am the entrepreneur in residence at IRSC. And as always, our show today is powered by the Coleman Foundation. Uh, the Coleman Foundation is a private independent foundation that focuses on entrepreneurial endeavors. And a very good evening to you, Greg. Uh, everything's all right on your end of, of things? Oh, I think so. Yeah. All right. Any update uh, from the Pioneers uh, basketball court? Well, the ladies are uh, doing uh, quite well, as a matter of fact, winning two straight. And uh, wow. we, we will be together with the guys. We came close again. And, uh, boy, Miami Day, they love wow. those three-point shots. Killed us at the very end. And, yes, I was at the last Miami Day game, and oh, it was yeah. it, six seconds. It's the same thing. Oh. Actually, it was 1.9 seconds. Wow. <laughs> Down okay. in Miami. It was unbelievable. But, All right, uh, so uh, so then we shouldn't talk basketball. We're going to talk business, I guess. That's probably the, the yeah. subject to say. Well, with, you know, think. and uh, softball and baseball are going, too. So, oh, uh, you know, softball's doing well, but, I mean, so what else is new? I mean, yeah. it's just uh, they, they just keep winning and winning and winning. Wow. Um, yeah, uh, they're 12-1. and one. So, uh, yeah, and uh, and baseball is uh, well, struggling, but they're, they're playing some really, really good teams. And they're over in uh, – beautiful downtown Bradenton today, All which right. is neither beautiful nor, uh, <laughs> never mind, we'll, we'll leave it at that. All right. Uh, well, again, we thank you for the, uh, the Startup Talk uh, sports report there. Uh, I like to always begin the show by, by telling folks, and a uh, very true, true uh, story. Uh, I spent many years in business along the Treasure and Research Coast, and, and I tell folks every time I get a chance, had I really taken the time to become engaged and, and participate in the business assistance programs offered here at Indian River State College, I am confident that I could have been a better manager and a, and a better owner and operator. Uh, the college, its president, Dr. Massey, and the board of trustees have done an incredible job of building what I like to refer to as a, a very powerful one-stop shop for business and assistance and support through what we call the Dan K. Richardson Entrepreneurial Development Institute. Uh, the EDI is made up of the uh, Small Business Development Center, uh, the Business Incubation Program, and the Corporate and Community Training Institute. Uh, and that leads me to how we start every show. Uh, we're uh, fortunate to have Mr. Bob O'Brien, the coordinator of the CCTI, in the studio with us tonight. Uh, last week he called in to give us his update, but he's here with us live tonight. So, Bob, uh, what are the hot, to hot topics this week uh, at the CCTI? What are we training? This week we started a uh, all about Google class just this morning. We had uh, 12 participants there to learn how to utilize Google to help promote uh, their small businesses. And uh, Tuesday night we started a basic Microsoft Office class. Uh, we do computer training for uh, professional and personal development. And that class uh, started on Tuesday night. That meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 9 for two weeks. We've got a couple special topics coming up over the next uh, two weeks. On February 17th, which is a Tuesday night class from 6 to 8, it's going to meet on the 17th and the 24th, we've got uh, finance, a financial class for business owners, uh, HR managers and business owners, how to boost your business bottom line by empowering your employees with financial wellness, uh, nice. taught by Fraser Allport, who is a local uh, finance wizard uh, here in the uh, Research Coast. So uh, that class is a new class. It's just $69, and it starts February 17th. Still have plenty of room to sign up for that one. All right. We've got uh, Public, Public Works Institute uh, starting, and we also have some SHRM essentials for the HR managers out there. Uh, the SHRM class will start February 26th and run through April 7th. And that meets on Thursdays from 4 to 7. Uh, so any uh, HR manager out there that needs their certification, uh, give us a call and we can get you signed up for that. The Public Works Institute, uh, Module 3, uh, 
offers existing and aspiring supervisors, crew leaders, and managers an opportunity to obtain a leadership role within their business, governmental agency, or educational institution. So a couple specialties there. Uh, big class coming up, medical coding for uh, professional services. This is a great class. It's an expensive course, but uh, it helps train people. Uh, it'll introduce you to medical coding systems utilized to report professional and hospital services within a healthcare entities where physicians and practitioners treat patients. Uh, students will learn how to use CPT procedures, ICD-9 and ICD-10, which is the newest uh, software that's going to be out, and uh, we will do a special ICD-10 class as well. So that's a great one. Uh, we just had 18 students complete the course. That one runs on Saturdays, February 21st through May 2nd. So it's a long right. class, but uh, we train and teach people that are in the business or interested in becoming coders, and uh, we get them ready to take a national exam. So when they're done, they pass that national exam. They are certified coders and can work in hospitals or doctor's offices in the Treasure Coast. This is all part right. of the HCA, right, where uh, uh, the electronic medicine, if you will, is taking C over? Certainly a big part of the electronic uh, health records. Sure. Right, sure. right. Paperless sure. offices right. and all that right. good stuff. All right, uh, Mr. O'Brien, as usual, impressive listing of, of courses coming up. Uh, and as always, folks, you can get a complete update of what's going on with training by going to the www.irscbiz.com and click on that events calendar. And I tell people all the times, all the time, I can assure you, you will be impressed with the offering. Now, um, going back to last week's show, we uh, we had uh, Miss Leanna Haig uh, speaking of training. She is a social media trainer for us in the CCTI division. And we talked about social media, and we talked about, um, you know, how every business uh, needs to have some sort of social media strategy. So the question really becomes, how does one develop these types of strategies? And the answer, as I have said many times, it's training. It's training. And much of the support uh, that I talk about in our uh, Entrepreneurial Development Institute comes in the form of training. And uh, both the CCTI and the SBDC provide numerous business training programs across the Research Coast. Um, and we've talked about the, the variety of trainings that they all, they all offer. Um, and these training courses are designed to help and assist local businesses improve their operations. And today, Greg, I think you're going to be impressed today. Today, what I want to introduce and highlight are three extremely unique training opportunities which exist along the Research Coast and are being facilitated by our very own EDI and SBDC and the CCTI. And to lead our discussion tonight, I am very proud to have with us Mr. Tim Dewar of the Martin County Business Development Board. Uh, Tim, are you out there? I am. Thank you very much. Good evening, Tom. Thank you for being with us tonight. We also have with us uh, in the studio is uh, Mr. Steve Waters from Harbor Community Bank. Steve, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. And uh, finally, we have on the line uh, Mrs. Kim Norbuda with uh, NACI, which we talked to a couple of weeks ago, the National Association of Community College Entrepreneurs, and she is with HP. That's Hewlett Packard. Kim, are you out there? I am Hi, here. Hello. All oh. right. Uh, that, that's Kim. Oh, We've got, oh, that's right. We've got I, a Kim I, and a Tim. I, I, it's going to be confusing. That's right. <laughs> uh, Tim, let's get started with you. We'll, we'll, uh, Tim's down in Martin County, so we're going to start with Tim. We'll work our way north. Uh, Tim, just real quickly, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the Business Development Board down in Martin County. Um, you know, what role you serve in the community and your mission down there. Sure. Again, thank you uh, for having uh, me on tonight. Um, yeah, I am the Executive Director of the Business Development Board in Martin County. Um, and our main mission and goal is to work with our existing companies that are established here in Martin County to help them expand their business and grow their business. Um, but on the other end of the spectrum, we also go out and try to recruit complementary companies that will help our existing companies um, with their future expansion. So um, really it's a business-to-business it's -business relationship that we've got with our local companies. And in the last several years, we've even branched out a little bit more um, and targeted the smaller businesses as well. So right. we, we work with companies that have 1,000 employees, and we work with companies that have one employee. 
So, I mean, obviously you're very engaged with the business community in Martin County. You also obviously um, partner uh, with, the, with the municipalities, the cities, and the counties on, on joint projects to support the business community. Absolutely. We, we, we also partner with the SBDC. Uh, the Business Development Board of Martin County um, helps to fund the SBDC here um, in our area. We also partner with SCORE, but as you had mentioned, we, we, we sponsor several trainings throughout the year um, with the use of our partners, including IRSC, but not just limited to IRSC. Right. Um, so so we, we do offer, and, and these trainings, as you had mentioned before, they're all they're free. They're free of charge right. when we um, do something here. So we're very happy, and we obviously work with the city of Stewart, um, and we couldn't do this, this good work that we do without the support of Martin County government. Right. Um, all right, so let's dive right into it. Uh, you have created uh, what I really think is, again, an incredibly unique program. Um, you're calling it the um, Business Accelerating Business Accelerator Training and Grant Program, uh, the BAP of Martin County. So talk to us a little bit about the, um, the Business Accelerator Training Program down there, Tim. Sure. Um, the, the Business Development Board um, is sponsoring this with the help of um, Indian River State College and your, your team there. Um, I would like to thank uh, Beth Gaskin, the provost of Indian River State College Chastain campus, for being very involved yep. with this process. But basically what we've um, um, arrived at or what we designed is a 12-week program um, that will be all educational and curriculum-based. Um, some of the topics include business financing, um, profit and loss statements, social media, as you mentioned before, human resources, grant writing, um, and some other factors. Wow. Um, so it's really, it's a good program um, that um, starts off with curriculum and then kind of follows up with an with a opportunity for grants. Okay. So give me, um, give me an example of a, of a typical student that you're looking for to participate. And I say student, uh, you know, uh, give me an example of a typical, typical individual who would take part in this program. Sure. It, we're, we've got very limited um, parameters. So, so basically, one of the main criteria is you have to have a business or um, be looking into a business with fewer than 25 employees. But we're basically looking at the entrepreneur um, in Martin County that needs assistance with, with some of these programs free of charge. Um, and then afterwards, potentially, they can get a small grant to right. get them off the ground and running. So, again, any, any really stage of business, you uh, folks looking to start up a business could participate in the program, uh, an existing business that's even, you know, second, third generation business, maybe looking to accelerate or improve their operations would benefit from this program. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, talk to me about seats. I mean, uh, this has got to be popular. Are we running a little low on seats at this point? It is very popular. We've only got remaining, I, I believe, 10 seats left for this first class. Um, so, um, you know, we're, we're, we're very um, hopeful that this will fill up fast, and, and, and we've been getting a lot of inquiries. So with only 10 seats left, we... Um, we're looking to fill this and then move this forward and, and offer it again in um, you know the second part of the year. Yeah, incredible offering, Tim. I mean, what a great job. What a great service you're providing for small business down in Martin County. Um, let's move up here to uh, St. Lucie County and uh, talk to Steve because, again, another very impressive, and I, I always hate to use that, that, that old saying, but what, what an incredible, innovative, out-of-the-box idea uh, that Steve put together mm -hmm. uh, from Harbor Community Bank. Uh, Steve, talk to me a little bit about what we're doing up here. We're calling it the uh, Downtown Merchant Training Series. What's, what's this all about? Again, thank you, Tom. And the bank is all about uh, giving back to the community. It's almost we see ourselves as returning to the days when the bank was the pillar of the community, and its role was to invest in the community and the community's future. And in doing so, so often, I mean, all of us in, in banking and also in, as educators, we're continual learning and the other aspect of that is developing and training and helping our small businesses promote that training and for their employees it's going to create a culture that supports continual learning furthermore this training will enable these small businesses to make you know to keep up with the competitive environment that they're working in every day um, so and so what this really is you're doing uh, you're doing a, a series of trainings on correct. Monday evenings you're doing this in St. Lucie County I think you you will shortly be doing it in Okeechobee County uh, consist of four uh, segments 
uh, I believe customer service, cash flow, social media, and management and supervision. That's correct. Yeah. And again, I think, Tom, um, partnering with the college, it just adds value to what we're already doing. Uh, Harbor Community Bank is um, only three years old. We have 300 employees, soon to be 500 employees in 14 counties and uh, 37 offices. So, you know, we're really building our bank around the customers and business clients who are truly the fabric of, fabric of the community. And with that said, these are, are all uh, course designed to help these small businesses improve. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, I mean, again, and, and for, for you to step out and sponsor this, I mean, that really is pretty innovative for you to provide training for your, you know, what what may not even be your customer, uh, but but you understand that having a, a better marketplace, uh, a, a more informed, uh, you know, business community really helps all of us. Right. right. It truly will. The benefits of these classes will contribute directly to the small businesses' fundamental financial health and vitality. If they continue to train and, and educate themselves and their employees, it's going to be good for the community. Yeah. And, and Tim, Tim, I want you and Steve kind of to, to, to talk to, to a concept for me. Talk a little bit about growing and, uh, you know, growing the marketplace organically, really through, through entrepreneurship, through that support of small business versus maybe the attraction of new business into the area. Tim, just, just speak to that real quickly. Well, obviously, it's a very important. Um, actually, it's a, it's a trend happening right now. I think all over the the country uh, with with entrepreneurs and and groups like myself, the Business Development Board can always go outside um, and try to recruit new businesses to the area. But we look at our local um, entrepreneurs, students, um, as people that have that have already chosen Martin County, um, and and they're important. Small businesses make up you know a huge percent of business in Martin County. Um, and we're just going after that, that um, the, the entrepreneurs that, that want to remain in Martin County and, and grow a business here. Um, mm-hmm. But in conjunction, yeah. we do um, go outside and, and do the recruitment. But our focus is still uh, within Martin County. All right. Uh, with that, I think we're going to take a quick break. And then, Steve, I want you to come back and kind of kind of talk a little bit about, about you know, the organic growth of our marketplace versus that, that recruitment. And Kim is still out there. So, Kim, stand by. We're going to hear from you shortly. We'll be right back. The Corporate and Community Training Institute at Indian River State College is now offering social media marketing. Courses are designed to give students a working knowledge of these valuable business tools through a hands-on learning experience. Through a hands-on learning experience, you'll learn more about internet marketing and customer engagement through social media. Mobile Marketing 101. All about Google, YouTube, Google+, and how to drive higher search rankings. For workshop dates and more information, visit online irscbiz.com. High school and college students with strong academic performance should attend the Indian River State College Honors Information Session Wednesday, March 4th at 6 p.m. in the Kite Center for Emerging Technologies on IRSC's main campus in Fort Pierce. Students benefit from enriched learning opportunities and increased scholarship options available for honors students for use at IRSC or to transfer to other institutions. Call 1-866-792-4772 or visit irsc.edu to find out more. And we are back with Startup Talk, and I'm Tom Kindred, Jr., the entrepreneur in residence here at Indian River State College. We're talking tonight about three very unique, very incredible, what I think are incredible offerings for local business owners and operators, three training programs that are happening along the Research Coast. And we're talking to Steve uh, with Harbor Community. Harbor Community is sponsoring what we're calling the Downtown Merchant Training Series, uh, which is a series of four uh, specific courses addressing business issues, and Steve, what I was what I was going to talk to you about was kind of explain the bank's role in in that local small business acceleration. I mean, how you know, obviously, you're not in the business of recruiting new business, so you know, how do you see your your role in that in growing that marketplace organically? Well, it, we're all about supporting the small businesses, and if you look at downtown Fort Pierce. Uh, really, the the large portion of the city's workforce is is in these small businesses, and they're the life of the, our economy. And we have to continue to do what we can to keep them here, and that means maybe educating their their owners uh, about the opportunities for lending, looking at ways that they can 
Uh, they, they, they anchor our communities and our neighborhoods. We need to support these small businesses any way we can. And we can, in turn, by supporting the community's growth by supporting these small businesses. Right. So, and again, for you, it really is, and I think for Tim, too, you yeah. can speak to this, but I think it really, there is an element of sustainability here. I mean, correct. We've, got to, we've got to really strengthen what's already here. I think Tim right. said it best. Tim said, you know, uh, the folks that are, are here chose Martin County. They're already here. They chose us. They're here. So it is. it does speak to that sustainability sustainability issue. Tim, is that, that correct? Yes, I would agree with that, totally. Um, and I want to bring in now uh, a young lady who I met uh, at the NACI conference, very impressive young lady, uh, doing some great work. Again, a very unique offering that, that is provided now through Indian River State College. Uh, Kim, you there? I'm here. Kim is with a program called HP Life, and it is e-learning online, and this is a free uh, training module online for small business and entrepreneurs. Kim, uh, welcome, and tell us a little bit about uh, HPE Learning. Yeah, that's great. Thanks for the introduction, Tom. Um, so, yeah, so I, I was excited to, to talk to you guys today because a lot of the, the resources you've heard so far are awesome local resources. And what HP Life is, it's a completely online self-paced resource. So the difference is you just need to go to your computer uh, to get a little bit of training. And what it is, it is HP Life, and it stands for HP Learning Initiative for Entrepreneurs, and it provides 25 different topics on um, new entrepreneurs uh, or people that are trying to grow their business might be interested in learning about. Each little course takes about a half an hour to complete, um, and they're on topics like basics of finance, cash flow, social media, marketing, strategic planning, things like that. Um, that you can just go in and learn a little bit about that topic and then hopefully go to your local resources to dig in a little deeper um, after you have the basic understandings of, of what it takes to start a business. Yeah. And again, I'm very familiar with HP Life, and it is, again, very robust um, online training. And it, obviously, it, there's no cost to this. Anyone can access it that has access to the Internet. And, you know, Steve, from a banker's perspective, here's a case where this is a resource that, that actually the bank, when someone comes in and says, you know, I'd really love to get a little help on, say, social media, you actually could say, well, look, there's this free resource called HPE Learning. You could actually send your, your customers to this resource. That's correct, Tom. And I think we've at, we had a number of our uh, middle management bankers that were actually at your your uh, uh, facilities and were signing up for HP Life and have been uh, sending that out. Yeah. So it's very positive. Yeah, it, the the the, um, the the site really is. It focuses on core business competencies, uh, as Kim said: finance, marketing, operations, and communications. Is that correct, Kim? Yeah, that's correct. And what it does, it takes it just beyond the basic business concept. Then it also links the relevant technology skill that goes along with it. So HP believes that it's important not only to teach people the business concepts, but the tools that they're going to be using to implement those concepts. So, for example, in basics of finance, it's not just going to teach the, the concept of cash flow, but it's also going to teach them how to go into an Excel document and create a, a formula or something simple like that. But right. it's going to attach the, the relevant technology that goes along with the business concept. Well, it really is an incredible resource. So, again, what, what you're seeing here is really this, this critical mass of, of training resources. You, you've got Tim, um, you know, very influential uh, a group down in Martin County, the BDB, very professional group, put together the Business Acceleration Program. Now, this is, this is free training for, for businesses in Martin County. Um, uh, you know, 12 weeks, multiple modules, touching on all kinds of subjects. Uh, you know, Tim, really an incredible offering down there uh, f for your business folks. Um, and I I'm assuming you're getting some good response, feedback on, on, on the course offerings. I mean, what, what are your folks telling you that have signed up for it so far? Oh, they're, they're excited to jump right in and, and, and get going on the, uh, on the project or on the, um, on the training. Um, so it's been all positive feedback, and we're just really excited about um, this partnership with uh, Indian River State College um, and, and getting this rolling and having it be a continued offering here at the BDB. Right, and then then you've got you've got uh, local 
uh, corporate citizens like Harbor Community Bank who have stepped up and said, look, we want to do our part, not just from a banking standpoint, but we want to do our part from a support, business support standpoint. So, again, they came to the, the college and basically said, look, put together some, some series of trainings. Uh, so you've stepped up and done it. Now, two of the classes have already been held, and I know, Steve, you and I have been to both, and, and really excellent material robust coursework. I- Absolutely, and, and tremendous feedback, very positive, and those that are, that are attending are excited and uh, are walking away with uh, a value, for right. sure. And then, of course, as always, the CCTI uh, has been there for many years, will continue to be there for, for many years, really to, to provide us with that that ongoing training. I mean, Bob, not only do, do we do the special customized training, but you're constantly offering uh, training every day of every week of every month, correct? Yes, we are. And uh, irscbiz.com, that's irscbiz.com is the website. You can go in and see our uh, featured courses and what's hot topics and uh you know go to the website and 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 check out what's coming up we again we've got several open enrollment classes scheduled for the next uh the next couple of weeks yeah. as well as our customized training that we also do where we go in and meet uh directly right. with the uh the larger business and set up training and then and then now we even bring in this online version of, of business training through Kim and her work at, at HP and, and her work with with NACI, um, you know, which is which is no cost. Uh, Kim, anyone can access HP Life eLearning. Uh, no no restrictions there, right? Yeah, there's no restrictions. All you need is an email address, and you go to life globalorg forward slash go forward slash IRSC, and it'll ask for your email address. You'll create your own username and password, and you can get started right away. And, and as, as one works their way through these courses, they can stop in the middle, they can return, they can pick it up, resume, uh, no issues there? No, it's a great program. You go through and, and you, create, you pick the courses you want, um, so you are not required to take all 25 to get to something else. You can pick any one at any time. Uh, they also have some recorded presentations that you can just watch some videos from some HP Life experts. Uh, that will talk about different topics such as uh, social media or effective presentations. And then there's a new feature, a business plan feature. So if you wanted to start getting your feet wet, start building your um, building your business idea, you can go into the My Plan feature and answer some questions to start building a business plan. Yeah. Uh, so, again, I just don't... I just want to make sure, and, and again, it, it goes really back. It, it speaks really to the purpose of our program here tonight, and, and speaks to some of the some of the the uh, you know the uptick in marketing that we're trying to do to let people know really what is going on out there in in the area of training, resources, and assistance for small business. And I I, I really don't think we're we're short. I, I tell folks all the time, it's hard to fall through the gaps in our program because there's really no gaps. Uh, you know. We, we, we cover, uh, I, again, one of the things I say all the time now is we're engaged really at every stage of enterprise, whether it's startup, whether you've been in business for a number of years, we have those resources uh, available to you. Uh, you know, Tim, anything uh, you want to say as we, we close up this segment on the, uh, the Business Acceleration Program down in Martin County? Just once again, thank you for uh, having me on tonight. I did want to point out um, to, get, to access more information regarding the program and to um, complete an application, you would go to our website, which is bdbmc.org, um, and click on the Small Business Resources tab, and you'll find um, all the information that we talked about today and, and obviously more in depth about the program. So we're excited and we're looking forward to the partnership. Well, Tim, again, you've done a great job with it, with a very impressive program, and I and uh, you, you know we will be there to uh, to help you and support you on the program. We look forward to it. And uh, again, thank you for all you do for Martin County. You and Jill both at the BDB, you guys uh, do great work down there, and we appreciate that. So, uh, Greg, am I ready for a break? Oh, we are close. But you know, okay. one thing I was thinking of, yep. you know, when Steve Waters is talking about all of his support for this, in a way, this is kind of subliminal marketing for Harbor Community because your support here uh, may get you in touch with business owners who don't know your bank. And, you know, I think sure. I think that's a, a that's, good open door for you. That's correct, Greg. And again, fundamentally, sometimes you have to look at 
hey, not what you're going to sell and how much money you're going to make, but right. what do the customers need right. and wants, and how do we service their needs? Right. Well, and that, and that again, that's so important in business too. It really, it really is about what kind of value do you bring to the table for right. your customer. And and again, I think it, it's you know I think clearly, and there's many many uh, entities out in our area that understand this. Obviously, Harbor Community is one of those that understands. You know, we've got to bring a little value to the table for those potential customers out there in, in the marketplace. That that correct? I mean, that's, that's correct, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What we're, what we have here is the opportunity. There is there is no excuse for people to not get out and and seek training, to make themselves better uh, as as human beings or as business right. people. Well, and again, you know, we so often we do. You know, we those of us who spent multiple years in business, you get complacent. You know, you think, you know, what else could I learn? I've seen it all. I've done it all. Especially those who especially went through some tough times, then you really can say, man, I've, I've really seen it all, I've done it all, you can't shock me, you can't surprise me. But it is just so important that you continue to be open-minded, um, allow yourself to, to, to be open to new information, new ideas, uh, new thoughts, uh, you know, especially in the area of training. Things are changing out there, and social media was one of those issues that we talked about last week, that, and we had a great, uh, you know, um, client on that, that talked about, you know, he got involved in social media, he really didn't understand it, but took some courses at Indian River State College, and the bottom line was, he increased his revenue. So, you know... And that was amazing, because that was the, the ultimate uh, uh, kudo for you guys, because all of a sudden he said, I've been in business all these years, I never thought I needed to change. And then I realized the entire world was changing around me. Right. Well, and, and, and right. he, he's made it work. The right. problem is that we don't know what we don't know. I mean, right. we only know what we do know. Right. So, uh, as my friend Lou Holtz once said, in this world, we either get better or we get worse. We do not stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not doing anything to make yourself better, you're getting yeah. worse. Yeah. So, and that's what training's all about. And uh, you just got to have the make the time to get out and uh, right. and find you a class. There's classes out there for you. Come out and get training and make yourself better as a human being or as an employee. And uh, Life is good, right? And again, we're we're lucky in our in our along the research coast. We've got people like Tim. We've got people like Steve. We've got companies like Harbor Community. We've got organizations like the Business Development Board of Martin County. We've got the CCTI. I mean, we have the resources here. We have people that are willing to support these kind of initiatives. And so, anyway, it it really does become it really does become a little easier for folks to get out there and get engaged and and enhance their business skill set. And I think the important thing, too, is that you guys are on all of the IRSC campuses. Absolutely. Uh, There's really, really right. important. We're, we cover all four counties and, and, and really, you know, over five campuses, you know. So it's you can, you can access us somehow, some way, some place. And, again, look at the, you know, Tim and the BDB. I mean, they, they're, they, this whole program is designed strictly around Martin County, Martin County businesses. And, and then, again, Steve's program up here uh, is really designed around, uh, you know, downtown small business merchants. And we're, he's going to do the program in Okeechobee, and, and he's doing some things up in Indian River County. So, you know, Harbor certainly recognizes the need to, to reach out into the four-county uh, Research Coast area and do these kind of initiatives. So. And what a year for Steve to move that uh, program out to Okeechobee. It's their centennial year. The yes. main, main Street is getting all ready for yep. the centennial year. Mm-hmm. So uh, perfect opportunity. All perfect right. Opportunity. All right. We'll, uh, we'll take a quick break. Stay with us. Uh, Kim, you still with us out there? I am. All right. We'll be right back with more Startup Talk. Looking to start or enhance your career within the medical field? The Corporate and Community Training Institute at Indian River State College is now offering classes in medical coding and documentation. This class will introduce you to the most up-to-date medical coding systems used by healthcare entities. Classes will be held on Saturdays at the main campus in Fort Pierce, beginning February 21st. For registration and information, visit online, irscbiz.com, or call 475-2201, extension 620. 
2020. Fitness professionals and personal trainers are in demand, and the Corporate and Community Training Institute at Indian River State College is now offering personal trainer certification courses. This course will cover all topics necessary to provide students with the most current training, testing, and certification to practice as a professional certified fitness trainer. Classes start February 28th at IRSC's main campus in Fort Pierce. For information, visit IRSCBIZ.com. All right, we are back with more Startup Talk. I am Tom Kindred, Jr., the entrepreneur in residence at Indian River State College. And uh, it's it's really been an eye-opening show this evening, Greg. I told you you would be impressed. Are you impressed? Very much so. Very I much mean, so. you know, the business acceleration program down in Martin County, downtown merchant training series here in St. Lucie County, in Okeechobee County. Again, Bob always enlightens us with all he's got going on at the CCTI. I want to talk about one of your favorite events uh, as we as we uh, wrap up our show tonight, Greg. I want to talk about what we call the Pioneer Pitch Panel event, and this event is uh, is held at, at the main campus, uh, where we it really allows us to take some of those mature uh, incubator clients. It allows them to present their business model and their plan in front of a live audience. Uh, to get that candid, real-world feedback from our panel, uh, which is uh, made up of local entrepreneurs, successful business people, folks that have been through the startup process. Uh, Steve Barnett was uh, was our guest last week. He is one of our panelists. Um, and, of course, they do all of that with, with the real possibility of potentially getting funding uh, for their venture. And uh, we have had two uh, two folks come out of the incubation program and get funding uh, through their their pitches at these um, at our Pioneer Pitch Panel event. It is a shark type Shark Tank type event, um, so a lot of fun. Uh, we uh, last last time we had the event, we probably had close to 100 people in the room. Uh, it's very inexpensive. It's ten dollars. You get dinner and you get to see a couple of businesses pitch their ideas. So it's a great event. Uh, it's coming up on Wednesday, uh, February the 25th. Uh, you can uh, go to the irscbiz.com website and uh, register and get yourself a ticket for that. And what I want to talk a little bit as we close up uh, tonight, I want to talk about the whole concept of pitch. And what does it really mean? I mean, why do we have these pitches? Why do we work with an incubator client on a pitch? Um, the use of phrases such as the business pitch, the elevator pitch, the video pitch, uh, you know, they have grown in popularity uh, over the last couple of years in this whole, uh, you know, entrepreneurial space. Um, and a pitch really is basically delivering your business plan verbally. And so uh, how do you build these skills? How do you build these pitches? Uh, again, let me go to Kim with HP Life. Kim, you know, the HP Life actually offers some training within, within your segment about pitches, Correct. Yeah, absolutely. HP Life has a range of resources, so specifically dealing with pitches, people know, need to know how to present data. They need to know how to uh, provide effective presentations, and there are actually a few different courses. Um, one is, is called Effective Presentations, another is called Presenting Data, that are really relevant to people that might not really, you know, where to go with their presentation, their pitch presentation. Yeah. Uh, the other aspect of HP Life that people could look at maybe to focus in on their business ideas is that my plan feature. Um, it asks very specific questions about their business ideas to help them focus their, their broader ideas and, and bring them down to uh, a topic that they'd be able to talk about. Yeah, excellent. And, we, and we've got actually with us uh, an individual... Um who's been very helpful, very supportive of our Pioneer Pitch Panel event, uh, Dave Skiles. Dave, are you out there? I sure am. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? Listen, uh, we're doing great, and we certainly appreciate you spending some time with us. Now, Dave, you've been very involved in this whole, from the inception of this event, uh, you've been very involved. Uh, you're with Dominion Investment Group. Uh, your organization has has been uh, very active in the pitch panel program. In fact, your organization was one that has funded two of our presenters. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Tom, we're tickled to death to be involved with IRSC and you and, and the Brown Center. Uh, it's all about helping people. And so much uh, of, of our economy is we hear so much that there's no innovation. 
but you know i've i've seen it and felt it and and, and two of them happened in our area yeah. one was a golf club uh, a gentleman that's involved with a group with a golf club uh that breaks into three parts we thought it was extremely unique and uh the the uh shaft breaks into two parts and the heads are all interchangeable right and the whole set fits in a backpack that can be taken on an airplane and put in the uh, overhead and we sold that one out that was that came through the incubator right uh, we were inter- very interested in it and we ended up uh, getting involved with them and that was a million and a half dollar raise that closed out uh gosh uh, early december right and uh we're involved with another gentleman that uh is local from the palm city area and in, he's invented a uh, electronic fence that goes around boats and we were very very interested in that as well uh both of these had uh, had a lot of what we call skin in the game. Uh, right. These people have been trying to put this together. They were, you know, had, had an extremely good product. We're interested in products at Dominion, not ideas. We we don't uh, finance ideas. Right. And so, with the markets as tight as they are for new businesses, private equity, which is part of our company in addition to traditional investments as well, uh, is a, is a big help in that area. Right. And so, uh, we were tickled to death to help them. And uh, so far, yeah. so good, Tom. Well, and again, um, you know, you, you've been a big help to us, and, and it's been a very successful event. And, and again, pitches are very important in this space. And it's not just about those who want to, say, get out there in the venture capital world. I mean, Steve, talk to me a little bit about how, how important it is, even when a business comes in for that traditional type of financing. I mean, do you expect to hear a pitch? I mean, absolutely. And we want to see a business plan, and we want to see that they actually know what they're doing. And uh, they understand their market, their community, or the environment that they're they're planning on uh, working in or or creating their uh, business in. Right. So, you know, and and part of creating, and I think you made a very good point, uh, Steve. You know, part of this pitch. So often, folks look at the pitch and they think, well, the the pitch is easy. I'll just you know yeah. ten slides and I can just talk. The the what happens so often is these folks. They jump out. They start giving the pitch. They really haven't taken the time to, to, to put the say the meat on the bone in the business plan. And then they really, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, sometimes they, they get asked those tough questions when they're making this pitch, and they don't have the answer. So it really throws them off track very early on. So you make a great point. The the pitch really comes after the business plan. The, the pitch is really what you want to hear them talk about their business. Right. But right after that, you're going into the business plan. Exactly. And also understanding the economic environment that they're, they're going into. Right. I mean, a pitch really should contain the same content as the business plan, uh, with, with really the main difference being that the breadth of the material covered and the delivery method. I mean, you've still got to have that business plan. Uh, Dave, kind of speak a little bit to that. I mean, you're wanting to see, in fact, just, uh, just today, uh, we spent some time with Dave and, and Mike from Dominion in a room. We had three companies come in this morning, right, Dave, and actually give what we would consider to be kind of a pre-pitch so that we could give them some, some candid feedback, right? Yes, we did, Tom. And, and, and uh, Kim and, and uh, Steve are right on. Uh, it's getting them prepared. A lot of times, Tom, they think they're ready. They think they're ready. They think they've got everything together, and they could have. But if the, unless they go live, it's, this, it's a lot different standing in a room with 100 people and, right. and, you know, try, and not anticipating the kind of questions that are going to be asked. Right. So that's what we try to accomplish at the at the pitch panel meetings, pre pitch panels, and uh, it gets them it gets them better. They understand what they have to do. This one group today, we actually uh, you know uh, had them go back and and redirect right. because there were some issues that we came up with that weren't covered fully in their in their uh, pre pitch uh, presentation. So it, it's getting them ready, and then also getting a, getting a, getting them in front of live people. That are going to ask you know you never know where those questions are going to come from, right. but we try to get them as ready as they can be. Well, and you know, th- one of the things I find always interesting is just when we think we've we have figured it all out and we're all finished, all we have to do is put them in front of of, of the pitch panel and and we get at least half a dozen questions that we thought where we didn't even think of that. Well, and I rem- I remember one of those uh, happened to be uh, y- uh, the panel brought up uh, copyright issue with their product right and there's a little stuttering and stammering right. on the part of the uh, person uh, and i'm not sure whether he thought that through or not right well and it, you know and i i tell folks all the time i'm not a big fan of of reality tv but i really do like the the program shark tank 
because I can tell you that that, that is really as close to how yeah. this really works in the real world. I mean, those are the questions you're going to get asked. I oh, mean, yeah. scalability, uh, what's your sales and distribution plan? How are you going to get the product to the market? What, what kind of protections do you have? I mean, Steve, I mean, even in traditional financing, you're asking those very questions. Exactly. And you can take uh, spreadsheets and put all sorts of numbers in, in those in those uh, spaces, but is it re- we're going to work? Is it re- is it real? Right. And uh, you have to ask those questions. And again, hey, I Tom, guess Tom, yes, sir. Go I ahead, Dave. Just interject. Yeah, I just yep. want to interject one thing. Uh, I think it's really interesting. The panelists take this real serious. And one of our panelists, I won't name him, but he's he's a great guy. And uh, it was one of the pitches or one of the presentations was on um, some type of product for a hair salon. Right. And uh, and so I won't get into the, the specifics, but right. in any case, one of our panelists took it upon himself to go to a salon and actually check it out right. firsthand and had that right. question or two to ask these folks as they presented, which was, right. I thought, quite unique. But that's how far they and how serious they take being on the panel. Well, and again, because this panel, what we're doing with this panel, it, it's... It's fun, and there's 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 some there's some drama to it. But at the end of the day, there is true, meaningful purpose behind uh, what we're doing. Uh, and again, everybody's touched on it. What we're trying to get these folks ready for is to get out into that that real entrepreneurial space. Most people do need funding. Most people do need some financing. So we've got to have them ready to go out and do that. And that's a big part of what we're trying to accomplish in the incubator is get people to address these tough real-world issues and have them ready to go out. Uh, we're, not, we're not putting people up in front of the panel uh, you know, to, to shock them or, or to, to, to get them in a situation where they can't ask the, answer the question. But, uh, but, but we, we, we make sure we have them ready. And, but it is, it is real-world, candid feedback and that is absolutely priceless for somebody who's trying to start up a business or get a product to market. I mean, is that a fair statement, uh, Steve and Dave? Ab- absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. They they've got to be ready. They can't uh it, it's not our job to uh you know to tell them what they want to hear. I think that we've got to we've got to have those difficult conversations. And I I think Dave, you you hit on it this morning in one of our meetings. I, they really were going in a different direction, and and uh, and you guys kind of said, "Look, this isn't uh, this probably isn't the way to go." And uh, and I, I, you know, we could see the disappointment, kind of, uh, but but it's it's the reality of it, you know. And that's so so that's really what the 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 event is all about. And again, Kim, you're in this space. I mean, you're dealing every day with NACI. I mean, how big is the pitch? How how uh, how important is getting ready for that pitch out there in in the entrepreneurial space? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. Preparation is everything, and you guys talked a lot about being able to answer the questions and being ready to answer the questions when someone on the the panel or someone asks you something, um, which I think HP Life does a great job in the My Plan feature, because a lot of times people might not even know what the questions are that are going to be asked, so they don't know what to prepare with. So in the My Plan section, it does break out their, their business idea into marketing, operations, finance. And then ask them very specific questions that they might get asked from a panel. So it gives them the opportunity to think about those questions ahead of time. And then if they don't know how to answer or how it applies to their business, it does give them the relevant courses in HP Life that they can take or there are some worksheets that they can work through and fill out. So then when the panel does ask, they can think back to an exercise that they've already done and they know how to answer that specifically for their their pitch. And then... Um, what it does is then it goes in and it layers that element of communication. You can have the greatest business idea in the world, but if you don't know how to communicate it, uh, it's never going to go anywhere. Um, no. So it's definitely important in the preparation part. And, I, and again, I think, uh, you know, NACI would confer. It really has become an element. You you have to, you know, do your research, you have to build the plan, and then you have to build the pitch. I mean, there's a whole science around around a pitch. Uh, I think it's um, it's Mr. Kawasaki who has the, the pitch rule, the 10-20-30 rule on the pitches. So, again, this has really become an important part uh, of the whole aspect of entrepreneurship and starting a business. And and I think even, even from a standpoint of an existing business, I mean, Steve, tell me, you know, uh, existing business comes into the into the bank and says we need a line of credit or we need a loan to expand the business. I mean, 
how does the pitch come into play even in that? They're going to have to know how to explain what they want. Absolutely, and understand their needs. And they, we, they have to communicate it to us uh, so that we can help them. Right. I think um, we were. I think we were one of the one of the folks that was at the training the other night. I think we were talking to them about, you know, again, you, you have to. You're going to have to explain this to us. We because you, you can't be an expert on every type of business model. That's right? correct. That's correct. So they've got to be able to come in and explain. And the same thing I think with you, Dave. I mean, and we saw some of that even in the pre pitch stuff that. Uh, that really you can't be an expert on every field, so they have to be able to quickly get you up to speed on what's going on in their specific segment of the industry, correct? Absolutely. And, Tom, also I want to say thanks to you and the incubator, uh, what you're doing there uh, in, in the Small Business Center. Uh, it's, it's, it's a delightful tool for us to use in the financial fields. And, you know, I would, I would absolutely ask any banker that gets a new customer that's got a new business and a great idea that's not ready to come to the bank for the loan or not ready for us to, to refer them to the incubator because it's the, absolutely the best deal in town. They get the, not only does the school benefit because they, they can do work for these people, but it also gets them started in the right direction so they can come back to us. Right. And so you know, that's thank a, you as well. Yeah, and that's a great point, Dave, too, about, you know, I, so often I've, I've told, you know, for many years, if you came into the bank and you weren't really ready for the loan, the answer might be uh, you're not ready for the loan. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I think what I, what, I, what I think is so important about what we're doing is we, we do now offer you an answer to that question. You, you can say you're not quite ready. Here's what you need to fix, and we now can send you someplace where we, we know we can we, you can get the assistance. Is that, again, a fair statement? Absolutely, and we've done that, and I know there's some uh, – it's starting to catch fire because there's right. some uh, community banks and, and banks that are sending people to you right. uh, in that particular – with that in that right. example. I mean, Steve, that's, is that, is that that's fair? That's what it's all very, about. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, I guess I want to end that segment and just say simply one thing, that, that the lesson here is, is clear. A pitch is, is not a substitute for a business plan. I want to make that very clear. It is simply a different, more concise delivery method, but pitches are important. And uh, where, where are we, Greg? Are we, uh, we're, we're about finished with the night? We're about Listen, finished. Listen, I want to thank everybody. Kim, thank you so much for joining us. Steve, uh, Tim from the BDB, Steve with the Harbor Community. Bob, thank you for coming in. And again, thanks for tuning in to another segment of Startup Talk. All the business assistance programs and resources discussed on this segment are available through the IRSC's Dan K. Richardson Entrepreneurial Development Institute, engaged at every stage of enterprise. For more information, you can get us and see what's going on at www.irscbiz.com. As always, I want to thank Greg and our partners here at WPSL, WSTU, WPSL-TV Worldwide, the Coleman Foundation. Michelle Abaldo and her team at IRSC's Office of Institutional Advancement and our guest today, Greg, thank you. Date of the pitch panel once again? Uh, Wednesday, February the 25th. Great. Good stuff. All right. Thank you, sir. Be there. It should be a lot of fun. Have a good week, guys. Looking to start or enhance your career within the medical field? The Corporate and Community Training Institute at Indian River State College is now offering classes in medical coding and documentation. This class will introduce you to the most up-to-date medical coding systems used by healthcare entities. Classes will be held on Saturdays at the main campus in Fort Pierce, beginning February 21st. For registration and information, visit online, irscbiz.com, or call 475-2201, extension 620. High school and college students with strong academic performance should attend the Indian River State College Honors Information Session Wednesday, March 4th at 6 p.m. in the Kite Center for Emerging Technologies on IRSC's main campus in Fort Pierce. Students benefit from enriched learning opportunities and increased scholarship options available for honors students for use at IRSC or to transfer to other institutions. Call 1-866-792-4772 or visit irsc.edu to find out more.